Hey guys, my name is Tilo. In this tutorial, we will have a look how to create a queue list at Yora. Before we start, please make sure some scenes are already recorded. To double check what is already recorded and how to rename recorded scenes, please have a look at the tutorial Manage Scenes. If you want to record some new content, please have a look at the tutorials Recording Scenes via Matrix and Recording Scenes with a third party controller. But now let us start to create a queue list. In this tutorial, we will start with an empty queue list and as recorded scenes, we will use the default scenes at the Aura SD card. To create an empty queue list, please click the trash bin button on the top or bottom of the queue list scenes area. As task, we have to add four queues to the queue list. Queue one should play back two times the already recorded red color scene. The fade in time should be three seconds and the fade type white fade. After play it twice, the next queue should be played. Queue two should play the recorded green color scene in an endless loop with a hard fade. Q3 should play the recorded white color scene and after play this Q, Q2 should be activated. The fade in time will be 2 seconds like default and the fade type should be set to black fade. In Q4 we will assign the recorded snake scene. This Q should be played with an intensity of 80% and a speed of 110%. The fade type should be set to none and after playback this queue the next one should be activated. We are already in the queue list menu of the Aura. To add a new queue we click the plus button. First of all we will enter a name for this queue. By the way, this name will be displayed in the column Q name. In this example, we will call it static red. Now we have to assign the desired scene file. With a click at the scene file context menu, we can choose one of the recorded scenes. In this example, we choose the red one. This queue we want to repeat twice, so we set play two times. The direction should be forward and the speed 100. As fade type we choose white fade and as fade in time we set 3 seconds. At the end we want to play back the next queue. After all settings are done, we click the set button. The first queue was added. In the second queue, we have to create the green color scene. So we click the plus button again. We call this queue static green. As scene file, we select color green.dxd. This queue should be played endless. That means it will play it as long as a user will click respectively press the next button. So we change the repeat time to endless. The fade type will be set to none and we click set. As third queue we want to play back the recorded white queue. Therefore we click plus again and we change the name to static white. Now we choose the desired scene file colorwhite.dxd. This queue should be 
faded with a black fade and a fade time as default 2 seconds. After this queue, queue number 2 should be the follow one. So we change follow queue to queue and the value we set to 2. Now we click set again. As last queue for this example we add the dynamic snake queue. Therefore we click plus, we change the name to snake. As scene file we choose snake.dxt This queue should be played with 80% of intensity. So we change the intensity to 80 and also the speed should be changed to 110%. As fade in type we select non again and as follow queue we let the default one next queue. So we click set. Now all queues of our queue list are created according to our task. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.